All right, hello everyone. I'm Rob with uh, ScrappyDo.com, and of course, I'm joined here with Michelle from Michelle My Bell Creations. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the new feature in Scal 4, and it's called Line Fill. All right, so first of all, Michelle, what is this Line Fill? The Line Fill is uh, a good way to uh, fill in a shape. Um, you, it's used for to engrave a design. Um, you can also use it with a marker to fill in a shape as well. Now, uh, yeah, and right now I'm showing I'm showing the photos to everyone that uh, you know we have the text. You filled text in with uh, with this, and you were able to you know draw the lines with a pen, and you did this with the Cricut Explorer, right? Correct. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm seeing that pen holder that's in there. So where'd you get that fancy little pen holder? That is by Amy Chamas, and that is the three eighths. Uh, inch pen holder and that's uh, good for your ballpoint pens or your gel pens. All right uh, yeah we'll, uh, we'll post links down below on if you're interested in that pen holder and stuff. So as you can see from that video you can just see the the pen is just moving back and forth and, and drawing and it's all using this uh, this line fill feature in Shortcuts Lot 4. So I'm going to ask Michelle here if she can go ahead and do a quick demo on how she actually did this and how you can utilize the, the line fill feature in uh, Shortcuts Lot 4. So go ahead, Michelle, take a, we'll take a look at your screen and show us how to, how to make these line fills. Is it hard? No, it's really simple. It's fairly easy. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's take a look at what you got. Okay. I'm going to go up to the library and I'm going to select a heart. And I'm going to check uh, key proportions. And I'm going to resize it. And then I'm going to go to my type tool. And I'm going to add a font. And I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to type the word love. Again, also, I'm going to check key proportions. And I'm going to resize it. And that looks about good. I'm going to change the color of my heart. I'm going to change it to blue. And now you can see the text better. And then I'm going to go up to Effects. And we're going to click on Line Fill. And I'm going to change it to about 45. And I'm going to leave alternate line direction checked. And let me slide this out of the way. Click on preview. And then click OK. So basically just filled in those shapes with, uh, with horizontal lines. And of course, I guess you, you can choose how, how far apart those lines are. Um, now, now, before we, we move on to the bring this into design space for you design space users out there, uh, can you show us real quick, you know, we, we talked about it earlier before we recorded this was the, uh, you know, fill in that heart and then, you know, say I, I didn't want those horizontal lines. Say I wanted to, to, you know, maybe get a 45 degree line on the heart instead of it horizontal. Can you demo that real quick? Okay, I'm going to go up to effects and line fill. I'm going to change it to 70. Select Preview and click OK. And I'm going to go to Path. Now, now Michelle, before we uh, before we go to Path and Object to Path, um, just just show them real quick when you rotate this that the horizontal lines they will still continue to stay horizontal. Okay, so now that is how you get you know the 45 degree look because um, you know, as you can see, you're rotating the shape right now, and it's not doing anything, but uh, but actually rotating the shape around those horizontal lines. So once once you have it set, right, like 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 you have it right now, and you you're happy with those lines, and that's when you want to finalize that with your path object to path, right? All right, so go ahead and uh, do that path object to path real quick, and then rotate it, and we'll we'll see if those lines follow the shape now all right so so that's a, that's a you know a quick way of doing it 
Now, I sort of wish that they would have included in the the little dialog box, you know, where you can actually rotate the lines instead of having them horizontal all the time. Maybe have them at a forty five degree angle, you know, just to give it a more unique feel. Feel. All right. So, um, all right. So now we have our design from your page one and uh, sure cuts a lot. And let's talk about how we can get that. And so we can design in shortcuts lot four, and then we can take it into design space. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to go up to export. And I'm going to name it uh, heart tutorial. And I'm going to select SVG. There's the file format you can save it as. We're going to use SVG so we can import it into design space. And I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to, the resolution I'm going to leave at 72 dpi. And I'm also going to select design space compatible. And I'm going to click OK. And then we're going to go into design space. I'm already logged in. And I'm going to go to vector upload. Or excuse me, upload image. Go to vector upload. And I'm going to click on Browse. And I'm going to click my file. And I'm going to select Choose. And then I'm going to Save Image. And I'm going to select it. And I'm going to insert the image into Design Space. And I'm going to resize it. Okay, then we're going to go to ungroup. And now I'm going to select all the letters and I'm holding my shift key down. I'm going to hit select each of the letters. And then I'm going to click on group. And then I'm going to change the letters to a writing style. And then we're going to select all. And I'm going to go up to attach and attach the letters with the heart. And then you're going to go to go. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could move this around on your mat. You can move it prior to hitting the go. Once you hit go, then you cannot move the, uh, the shape. All right. That's, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, on, on how you can actually design and sure cuts a lot, and then you can bring it into the design space. Now, uh, you, you also mentioned some other uses for this, you know, and you mentioned journaling. Now, can you can you pull up that heart with the journaling and give give the you know the viewers out there on what you mean by journaling on how that can help you? Sure. What I did with the line fill is I made the line fill a little bit larger. And then what you could do is you can do the same process as, um, you know, attaching the lines and create the lines as a writing style. And um, when this is finished, you will have your lines across your shape and then your heart will be cut out. And then you can hand journal and you can use that either on a card or a scrapbooking page. A lot of people like to hand journal um, on their projects instead of just using text. All right. Well, uh, very cool. Like, like we said, it's uh, this this process is super easy. Uh, th thanks, Michelle, for sharing that with us. Uh, now, if you're interested in any of those items that you've seen in this video, whether that be Shortcuts Lot or Amy Chamas's holders, uh, check the links down below, and uh, that way you can go visit that page, visit that site, and uh, and possibly purchase. Okay. So. Let me know what you guys think about this line effect, and thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.